I saw lakes of surreal beauty. I saw men floating in the clouds. I saw waterfalls shaping the forest and sculpting landscapes. I saw life blossoming in the water. I saw men living in the rivers. I was a passionate observer of water. And then I discovered that I was connected to it in a completely unexpected way. In Paris, I, who thought I used some tens of liters of water per day, learned that, in fact, I consumed almost 5,000 liters, and that this water came from all over the world. But where is this water hidden? This is the water needed to produce everything that I consume. Just think. It takes three liters of water to produce one and a half liters of mineral water, 40 liters to grow a salad, 140 liters for a cup of coffee, 185 liters for a kilo of tomatoes, 330 liters for a loaf of bread, 960 liters for a liter of wine, 1,000 liters for a kilo of apples, 1,100 liters for a liter of milk, 1,900 liters for a kilo of pasta, 3,400 liters for a kilo of rice, 11,000 liters for a pair of jeans, 15,000 liters for a kilo of beef. This water has been used to produce cereals that have fed the beef I eat. A European family of four consumes 140,000 liters of water every week, enough to fill a municipal swimming pool. Our lifestyles, our travels, our hobbies, all continuously combine to increase our water requirements. They're growing so fast that they sometimes exceed what nature can provide. But water is also desperately lacking for more than one billion people. I have never drunk clean drinking water. 90% of polluted water goes back into nature without being treated. It was forbidden to sell our fish. They said it was poisoned. Contaminated water still kills more than 4,000 children every day. I'm always afraid of my children falling sick. Enough water to feed humanity is still lacking. I didn't even have enough to feed myself. I had to buy rice to supplement my diet. Water is the source of conflicts in many countries. I have killed many men. I had to kill them for my safety. In southern Sudan, this incredible machine that should have dug a canal started a war that lasted for 30 years. To find solutions to these vital issues, men and women did not wait for the policymakers. They have solutions and they work. Vandana Shiva, an impassioned Indian, is fighting for a new agriculture. The way we have to turn is towards high nutrition crops, which use less water. Gerard Rozo has drilled over 4,000 wells throughout Africa. I feel that when I leave a village after bringing it water, it's important. It's important. Katarina de Albuquerque, who argued the case to the United Nations for the right to clean water and sanitation for all. We must talk about shit. There are solutions. But also ordinary citizens whose lives are at stake, like Annette, the toilet lady in a slum in Kenya, who has made hygiene her personal crusade. I'm proud to work in the public toilets. Or Exxon Chan, an incorruptible Cambodian who works miracles in Phnom Penh. I have a dream to bring the water to everyone in Cambodia. <laughs>